Hello everyone. Today we are in for a treat. I always say that. We are in Farmers Branch, Texas, which is right outside of Carrollton and Addison. I am here going to show you a custom built home that was actually made slash built for the builder and his family. So a lot of unique features that you're never gonna see. That's why I'm so excited about this one. And I am here with my very good friend from Briggs Freeman Sotheby's International Realty, Brooke Botter. And she is the listing agent on this house. Brooke, tell me a little bit about it. Thank you, Sierra, for coming by. This home is over 5,000 square feet, 5,100 to be exact. It's four bedroom, four full bath, and two half bath. We've got a lot of exciting features. We have a media room, a study. So and let's a take a look. Let's get in there. Oh my gosh, this door is seriously so heavy. So right here at the beginning, I can see that we've got custom iron doors here. So heavy. I know I always point this out to you guys because this is not a cheap thing. This is not a feature you're going to find. It's not your standard build. And that's why this is so exciting because we're in a builder's home. All right. So immediately I walk inside. Um, how tall are these ceilings, Brooke? 21 feet. This is incredible. And then I'm just like noticing all of this millwork. So I've, I've not seen anything so, there's so intricate. All um, nine inch millwork on, on the trim. Uh huh. And then also crown molding throughout. Oh, wow. It looks beautiful. There's even crown molding in the garage, which oh, we'll find. See, we won't find that. There's okay. plaster finished walls in the main living areas. And then you'll you'll see this herringbone pattern detail in different parts of That we've got here. Home. Okay. And so like this plaster finish, is that, um, and she, Brooke is a designer, by the way, I didn't me me mention that. So she's got a lot of information that I won't normally give you, but she just knows it off the top of her head, which is incredible, which is I'm why I'm so excited. But is this plaster finish like normal of this year build? Yes. Okay, cool. Perfect. Yes, very much so. All right, well, let's walk in here. And then I'm noticing like some vaulted ceilings here. Yes. Loving this. And you have shutters, custom shutters throughout the home. Okay. Primarily on the front of the house, but nice. you also see them in the back as well with uh, faux wood blinds. Love that. And remember, you guys, I've said this before, pay attention when you're going to look for a house. If they don't have these shutters or blinds already, that's a window treatment. You're gonna have to pay for that. So keep that in mind. Yeah. What so we here we have a cast stone gas fireplace. This Ooh. is one of three okay. throughout the house. We have another one in the main living area and one is outside as well, which you'll see later. Oh, this feels so solid. I'm just loving all of the details here, Ugh, but that's not even it. Let's go see some more. All right, so we have, you'll see quartz countertops throughout. Yeah. This is all custom cabinetry, custom millwork. The wood is all clear alder wood. And you'll see that on the feet, you'll we have claw feet. You'll see this detail in the primary suite as well. But it almost is like these are individual furniture pieces, which yeah, is really, really cool. Yeah, this doesn't look like, this looks like it's a movable island, but I tell you guys, it does not move. So going back to the quartz really quick. So you see quartz a lot in different houses. And the reason for that is because it is- Incredibly durable. Okay. Perfect. So you're not going to have to get this refinished like you would with natural stone okay. and marble. So it gets in here ready to go. Perfect. Yes. Oh, well, okay. One of the things that I love, Brooke walked me through this house earlier. And one of the things that I love is because you guys know that I love secret doors and hidden things. And there's a lot going on in this kitchen. So here we go. Secret number one. Oh, wow. is, let's do, this is like the trash. Exactly. We would have walked by it. So it took me about three visits to even realize that there was a trash can in the kitchen. So it's made to look like four like built-in drawers. You guys, like these are. So the you don't ideas. even know it's there. This is incredible. I love that. And then okay. and then so much detail throughout yes. the kitchen. Uh, it's so beautiful. much detail. You even have um, stone column. Oh yeah, I saw this right here. And then like a kitchen this size, one love it. But I don't see a pantry, Brooke. Right, right through I here, we have it open. Oh, hold on. This is Large the pantry. pantry. Look at yes. this, you guys. Look at this. Okay, we had already had an open. I, I didn't get the surprise you with it. Dang it. But <laughs> don't worry, there's more. But here's the pantry. It's huge. Walk in pantry, tons of space. You know, I love something hidden. So this is excellent. And if you get locked in, there's a little lever you can oh, pull perfect. on the inside. So that's always good too. All right, well from here, there's so much more house to see. So Brooke mentioned, I think she mentioned, if she didn't, this has a media room. So let's get there. Let's go. Again, trim throughout, custom media cabinet, built-in media cabinet oh, nice. with lighting. Also it's uh, built-in surround sound. 
projector and the screen. the projector come with this house? Yes. Okay. And then the screen too? Yes. Okay, awesome. Well, I love that. Okay, one of my favorite things that I've seen recently and not a lot is having the media room down. So I just love that. I just think people have put it upstairs. You never go up there. Yeah. Like, are you really using that media room, people? The, the owners really love to sit in here more than they do the living room. Yeah, so. and you can like entertain people. All right, so we're gonna go down the hallway. One of the things I don't show you guys a lot, we usually kind of speed through, is the laundry room. But this laundry room is a little bit different because it has a little surprise feature that I have never seen, so Brooke's gonna show me. All right, so this home, um, again, built by a custom builder. He was the owner and he put in a fire suppression system. So we have, a, which is basically a sprinkler system throughout, throughout the, house. the house. So when you're doing that insurance, when you're trying to set up for your insurance and ask me if the house has sprinklers, this one does, you guys. And when I walked in here, I immediately thought that this was like an ironing board cabinet because that's what I have at my house, you know? Uh, no, way cooler than that. And then another thing that we don't normally show you is the garage, but this one also has cool features. So let's get to the garage now. All right, guys, I'm not super excited to walk outside because it's one of those really hot Texas days, but we got a lot going on in this garage, Brooke. Tell me about it. All right, we have a three car garage. We have two, three car, three garage doors, doors. Three. one single car garage door, and then a dual drive through double car, double. Yeah, double car yes. garage. So when I drove to this house, I drove around because it's like on a cul de sac, and I turned around and I saw this garage door and I saw this garage door and I was like, how many cars can fit in this house? This is the coolest thing. I have never seen a drive through garage situation before and I'm not good at parking. So this would be amazing. I would never have to back out ever. It's awesome. It's another really cool feature. Yeah. Um, also notice there's trim. Oh, like you mentioned. So yes. there's, okay, they've got in the, garage, in the garage, garage as well. Also equipped with surround sound so yeah. you could jam out. You could party out here. In your garage. And you can use this area. So if you don't have multiple cars and like she's saying, jam out in your garage, put your workbench out here. Like do your, you know, crafty things. I don't know what you guys do with the tools. It beats me. But you could do that out here too. You got, you have your little surround sound party system happening. Op opportunity to for custom built-ins if you'd like oh, yeah, right for there, extra storage extra space. space love it all right well yeah. we got to get back inside guys because it is extremely hot all right so we are coming into the primary bedroom this is a really big space yeah it's oversized has a little seating area. Oh, I love that. If you'll notice above, it's got a vaulted ceiling and then additional little detail with the cove lighting, which is Beautiful. really nice. And with the vaulted ceilings in your in your bedroom, it just makes it feel so much bigger than it is. Love that. And then access to the patio. Perfect, we'll show you that later. And then to my favorite part, other than the kitchen, is the bathroom. We have marble countertops, jetted tub. All the tubs in this home are jetted, so mm -hmm. that's really awesome for all the bath lovers. Me, that's me, y'all know that. His and her closet. Okay, wait, well, hold on. That's a it's closet? A, another I thought this door. was just like a little mirror. Yes. Okay, love that. Like seriously, how many hidden doors are there? Custom have? built in um, shelving in the in the closets, mm -hmm. okay. And then you mentioned that these mirrors are also built in yeah. as well, right? Yes, built in mirrors with beveled glass, which is really nice touch. I love that. Okay, what is bubbled glass? I'm sorry. It's Explain this right to here. me. Explain this to me. Lip. Oh, okay. See, guys, I'm learning here today too. See, Brooke knows all of these elements. It's more expensive. It looks a lot nicer. Okay. It's just a good finish. Love that, love that. Okay, perfect. And then this is our other closet that we mentioned. Again, his and hers, hers and hers, his and his. Double door. Love you, live your life. Double doors. Oh, and then you've got the rods all the way to the top. Amazing. Yes. No wasted space in there. Lighting and then a separate shower with body spray, which is really nice. Oh, nice. Dual okay. vanity. Love this. And even though this house was built, what, what year did you say it was 2008. built? 2008. 2008. It feels like the choices that they made are so timeless that there's really nothing in here that you need to update. Nope, in my opinion. All right, well, let's go upstairs. We haven't even seen that. All right, so upstairs, what do we have up here, Brooke? We have three bedrooms. 
a little book nook, Ooh, uh, a maybe book a hidden nook. room I'll show you, Ooh. along with a you family room. Tuned. You gotta stay tuned for the hidden room. So we come in here, this is a really nice long hallway. Nothing in this house feels crowded or like right next to each other. So we've got our um, two bedrooms right here. There's a Jack and Jill bath in between these two bedrooms. And I wasn't gonna walk in there because you think you see, you know, a Jack and Jill bath, you've seen them all. This one is deceivingly large. Like Brooke mentioned, it's got a jetted tub, huge space in there, so really cool. And then here's the little book nook that she talked about. I love to read, I so this is like perfect for me to get all your books out of the way. It'd be awesome if this opened up but I think Brooke's gonna show me another surprise, so let's keep going. So we didn't mention it downstairs, but this home was actually built to where you could potentially put a elevator in the home, oh. which is great um, detail with two-story homes. Okay, so this was downstairs by yes. the powder bath. Okay, I got it. So it's a, a large closet upstairs and downstairs, but if you needed to, it was built to potentially put an elevator in. Okay, so why would we need to put an elevator in, guys? You bought this house, you wanna live in this house forever, and then eventually you can't get upstairs. Boom, elevator shoot, already ready for you. Yes. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So we've got another room off to the right, so this is a third bedroom upstairs, and then um, right around here, where we're gonna go to check out the um, extra living space up here. Family room, so this is an oversized family room. I feel like we keep saying oversized because all the rooms in this home are Massive. very generous. Massive. So we have a wet bar. The owner is moving out, so kind of use your creativity. I mean, yeah. you have to do very little to make this a really cool entertaining space. Right, this is just a blank slate, you guys. So let's say you hate the media room that I love downstairs. That's fine, to each his own. You could make this your media room. You can make it a game room. It could be a craft room. It could just be the toy flow over room. Like, if you so have much kiddos, yeah. put them upstairs with right. plenty of toys. No, Nothing to see here. Now, I think, because it was so easy to miss, we skipped something very special. Yes. Let's get back to it. There is this cool hidden. Look at that. Craft Look at that. storage room with built-in shelves again. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. So even this painting here, so I don't know if anybody ever watched like the Thomas Crown Affair, um, but for some reason that's what that reminded me of and maybe that ages me a little or dates me, whatever the phrase is. But love this, love the secret door. And then we have access to the attic, which this house has crazy insulation because we have two oh, doors. Wow. Again, don't forget trim. Oh, All the trim, even, even in, in the, the little, even, even in the closet. In the craft closet. So this goes for days, okay? Oh, we got wow. upstairs, attic. Wow. Okay, so it's dark in here, you guys. You're not gonna be able to see a ton, but there is so much extra space in here. And Brooke showed me earlier, it even you can even go up the stairs and there is more extra space. But if you've been watching Stranger Things, uh, we're not going up there. Not a good idea for us. So let's get back downstairs. <laughs> All right, we made it back downstairs. Let's not miss the, my favorite part of the home. Yes. More a secret wine. door room. Oh my God, I love it. Again, this is a solid steel door. You'll see the herringbone brick pattern on the floor and the concrete walls. One thing that you need to know while you're having your wine, this is also tornado shelter. F5 rated. Okay. So that is you can weather cool. the storm and enjoy your wine. <laughs> I love that. You guys, and that is such a big feature. I'm so glad that we didn't miss this because having a tornado shelter is rare. So we do get a lot of tornadoes here in Texas, but not a lot of people have shelters in their house. And as we are getting more people from out of state, they think this is like a standard thing we do. This isn't standard. That is a steel door for an F5 tornado, guys. Big feature, love that. All right, well, let's wrap it up in the backyard. All right, we are out here in the back patio. I'm immediately noticing the tile right here. Brooke pointed that out to me earlier and I knew I was gonna forget, so I'm pointing it out right above. We're going down for the tile and up for the wood. Yes. Love this little space, tell me more. With can lighting, we also have a gas fireplace. Okay, so this is our third fireplace. Yes. Got it. I yes. love how shaded it is back here. It's awesome. Finished with brick around. Love it. Again, you have access to the primary suite. And I want I forgot to mention earlier that this is over a third of an acre, which is okay. amazing in Dallas. Huge, we are in the city and we are we have over a third of an acre here. Yeah. You have room for a 
a small okay. pool. Yeah, so we've got grass like. back here. Or for the dogs. Yeah, so grass for your dogs, grass for a pool. It, the not. backyard wraps around. Oh, I love it. Do custom built-in grilling area. Oh I yeah, mean, that's one thing that we didn't the see. The opportunities so are endless. Oh, Again, speakers, we have speakers. This is a party house, you guys. There's speakers everywhere, okay? So the same family owned this house. You can do so much with it. There's so many custom features that you're not going to find. I am obsessed. So Brooke is going to come on the market with this house. By the time you see it, it is going to be active. We are the first people, one of the first people to see it. So yay for us. You're yes. welcome. And we're coming on at 1.1. Again, this is in Farmer's Branch. Tell me the address one more time. 2956 Sunburst. Sunburst. That is in Farmer's Branch, Texas. If you want to know more about Farmer's Branch, I got a video coming for you. Or if this house maybe isn't your style, but you like the location of Farmer's Branch because we are so close to DFW. We are so close to Love Field. We are centrally located. I say that all the time, guys. I really do. And it's mainly when we're in Preston Hollow. We are a little bit further north than that. So really close to the north. Everything is happening. Frisco, Plano, Dallas. You're in the perfect location. So if you want to know more far about Farmer's Branch, like I said, like, comment, subscribe. And Brooke has another fabulous listing she's going to let us see. Coming on next week. Coming on the market next week. And we're going to do a video on that one too. So Stay tuned, subscribe. See you Thank next time. Thank you. Thank you.